Yo guys, what is up? Max here on Portal Aids 3 video and today we're talking about one of the most powerful skills in the game due to a recent change. Now, I said something about this skill in my Firehose Moe's video and I was wrong in a good way. Today we're going to be talking about that skill, showcasing why it is now the best skill pretty much in the entire game. Got a lot to talk about. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And with that, let's get right into the video. All right, guys. So the skill we are talking about today is Fire in the Skag Den. Now, I mentioned this skill in my Fire Hose Moe's video, and I said it was receiving Mayhem Scaling, and I said that it was receiving... At 5 out of 5 points, you're going to be getting plus 93% bonus incendiary damage. Now, I was correct, but I was also very wrong. Before I give you guys all the numbers of the of Fire in the Skegden, I just want to say that this is most likely not intentional and is very likely going to be changed in the future if you're watching this video in like two months from now. This may not stay the same, but at the moment, Fire in the Skegden is not plus... 93% bonus incendiary damage out of 5 out of 5. It is plus 93% bonus incendiary damage per skill point. So for every point you put into the Fire in the Skag Den, you're going to be getting an additional 93% bonus incendiary damage. This, at 5 out of 5, as a tier 1 skill, is going to be giving you 465% bonus incendiary damage whenever you deal splash damage. This is before any fire incendiary increases, splash damage increases, class mods, relics, shields, anything like that. Just straight out of the bat, tier 1 skill plus 465% bonus incendiary damage. Now, if you don't believe me, we're going to be showing you guys. So, right now, I am in Sanctuary. While you are in Sanctuary, you do not get Mayhem Scaling. Mayhem Scaling is not applied. Today, we're going to be shooting at a Bandit Technical. I've got a consecutive hits beacon, fire and shock, wearing nothing. And to show you what this damage looks like before scaling, you're going to shoot this technical once. So, and remember that um, I'm shooting corrosive, so I'm getting, I think it's about 65% uh, 60, of my damage instead of 100% of my damage is fire. But if I was shooting against flesh, it's like 175 bonus, so I'd be doing even more. But shooting this technical... I'm getting 1,622 as my incendiary damage and 15k as my shock, right? So, not a lot of incendiary damage. Now, let's go travel somewhere. Anywhere out into the world, we will then start to see our mayhem scaling. We're going to go do the droughts and shoot a technical in the droughts where it will receive mayhem scaling. Now... One of the big things about this is now this is like, it's, there is no skill that gives you this much damage for being a tier one skill, which is why I'm stating that at the moment, this is probably the best skill in the game and may allow for a change in class mod meta currently on Moe's, which I'll talk about in a second. But now we have our technical we are now out in the world, so we're going to be getting that mayhem scaling. We were doing, was it like 1,600 damage before? Now, as you can see, 15k on our shock. Still the same amount of shock damage, but we are now doing, um, what is that, 50k? 50k fire damage. We went from 1,600 fire damage to 50,000 fire damage bonus. As you can see, we're doing way more fire damage than shock damage. And uh, this is on armor, so it's, already, it's it's resistant to fire on top of that. All right, so now I get to talk about one of the craziest class mods in the game, which is the Rocketeer. Now, the Rocketeer boosts as one of its skills fire in the Skag Den. Um, the Minesweeper can boost fire in the Skag Den. And both of these class mods can get absolutely crazy. Now, I have a plus five Rocketeer here that I just wanted to show off to you guys. But Rocketeer, not a great class mod. But the Rocketeer and the Minesweeper can both spec into Fire in the Skagden, which is going to make them extremely strong class mods right now. You guys already know that Minesweeper is insane. So if you can get a plus four Minesweeper 
into Fire in the Skagden, you were going to get obscene damage results. I'm just going to toss on this Rocketeer with plus 5 Fire in the Skagden. We just did 50k fire damage. Going to make sure our consecutive hits wears off. Everything is gone. Worn off. Oop, I shot too many times. Sorry, I had an itchy trigger finger. <laughs> make sure we got no consecutive hits. Nothing like that. It just like that. 100k fire damage on a banded technical with no other skill points invested. Um, nothing going on. And as you guys could probably already guess from this, the damage that you can now achieve on Muzz with... Um, so with 5 out of 5 in the fire in the Skagden, it's 465. When you go 10 out of 5... On every shot, if you're using a weapon that is doing splash damage, on every shot of your splash damage weapon, you're going to be getting 930% bonus incendiary damage. 930% bonus incendiary damage. Um, that is absolutely insane. And when you put it together on like any sort of kind of build, you are going to get absolutely wild damage. That is uh, one of the things that I wanted to talk about. Now, it also gets boosted by Stainless Steel Bear and also Scorching RPM. So these are skills that you're going to want to spec into if you are uh, trying to run this. But it is... it's ab That's absolutely insane. Um, and just to show you guys... Let's just... All right, we just spec'd into a little bit into Blue Tree. Let's go shoot a Skag real quick. Not gonna activate anything, just to show you guys, like... And... It's one million fire damage on a beacon shot, another one million. It's, uh, it's just crazy. It is just crazy. Um, and... If your Moe's is performing really, really well right now, this might be part of the reason. That is uh, that is all I really wanted to show for you guys for the video. Uh, if you are going to be playing Moe's, make sure that you are specking into Fire in the Skeg. Then you are going to feel sorry for yourself if you weren't specking into Fire in the Skeg because it's insane. Most likely, guys, I'm going to be honest, this will probably get nerfed or changed because this is crazy amount of damage for a Tier 1 skill that requires... Uh, literally nothing from you so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did learn something new which i hope you did be sure to drop a like comment and subscribe and shout out to prismatic um i should have had him in the title somewhere in this video but he showed me all of this so thank you so much to prismatic guys catch you in the next one peace